The rest is the field, the field steel. Woo! Almost fell. Oh my goodness. You missed that, Justin. Yeah. demolition phase of the Mulholland project. And we can see right here is our dust barrier. Nice dust barrier. All taped up for the door. That's a real wall, it's not a barrier. Here's another, here's another thing we do, a demolition phase. We, we, we uh, protect the uh, filters, the intake with a blue filter, pre-filter, so it just, we can change that out regularly and not have to change the main filter so much on the AC system. Ooh, this is all gone. Oh, wow. So here is some of the area that we're, we're taking out. And the main reason is because all of this step up seating has to move out and change and go in this direction. Because this is going to be a real nice closet system in here. They were willing to give up part of the large, very large bedroom to be able to get that nice closet in here. So this, this is all going to look the same. You'll, oh never, you'll never even know. Now look over here how much it's opened up. Wow. It looks huge. Uh -huh. It's even going to look a lot better when the walls are down. Now a pile of dust. I was going to say, weren't there just workers here? This place looks pretty clean. Yeah, they just left a few minutes ago. Wow. And so what we're doing here is we're trenching for all of the plumbing. And at AKM Builders, we, we do all the trenching ourselves. Now look at that trench. Wow. Now that's a trench. What's it for? That's to relocate the toilet. Right there is where it's at now, and it's coming over here. And... Looks like they hit a beam here in the middle. Looks like they're doing good though of getting that beam that beam exposed. I think they'll be able to continue on. They had called me today and told me that they had thought they hit a beam. But it looks like they're making good progress on it. So this is beam steel right here. The one down low is beam steel. This one. The rest is the field, the field steel. Woo! Almost fell. Oh my goodness. You missed that, Justin. Yeah. So this is gonna look way different than it did before. Now this is this is the existing manifold. What you see here is is the way to cut off any line to any part of the the home and they're all labeled over here on this side. Come on over here and you'll see this. So is it gonna stay here? It's a manifold so that you can turn off any portion of the home. This is where the main water line comes into the home right here. And then you take this little key and you can shut off any one of these, like if you're working on a water line or if you had a leak, mm -hmm. and you can, and we can uh, shut off any area in the home. It's a really nice system to install. And it's all labeled for what, for which, for which one it is. The lighting's not so great in here, but can you see all right, Justin? I got you. All right. Well, this is the bulk of the work. And we just wanted to show you what it looks like. Now, again, right after the guys left, we're here. So tomorrow we'll have our structural demolition crew, which will be the structural framing. And that's a different crew. And those guys, those carpenters will take out these walls and start building the new walls. Wow, that's fast. And then we'll, we'll get a video of that. Probably about the time we're sheetrocking, we'll get the next video to show what that looks like. This will be fun to show here with all of the, the beams being relocated and being rebuilt. It looks good. This is the way a project should look when you see demolition. You should see things neatly cleaned up. You should see no more demolition than what's necessary. You can see they saved the uh, rope lights that was up in the track underneath the crown molding. Uh. That's what that is. You can see the, the little nails still sticking up some areas with the crown molding. It's uh. coming up and holding the light code. So we'll be able to reinstall and rebuild that light code as well. 
Great, I'm glad we made it out here today.